All right, guys. You guys asked for it. You guys are getting it. No gi, Nawaza stuff. I'm here with Brian Glick. Uh, he was in a video earlier. Uh, he's my jiu-jitsu teacher, right? I teach him judo. He teaches me BJJ. It's a nice symbiotic uh, grappling relationship that we've had for <laughs> a little while. And uh, man, it is such a treat to him have him here because he's really the best in the game. He's an unbelievable teacher. Uh, I've convinced him to start a YouTube channel, like I said before. So go. I'm going to link it right down below. It's easy for you. All you got to do is click on it, go to his page, subscribe, obviously. And then you have a slew of just a library of all this top-level jiu-jitsu stuff, right? Which really is just judo, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so Brian's going to show you a leg lock series today. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll start from a standing position and we'll look at a very nice entry into a heel hook that you can use anytime you're working with no gi. And it's going to be familiar to you if you've ever worked with arm drags in wrestling or jujitsu before. You know, because kind of classically, um, arm drags happen. We can start with a post here where we clear our partner's arm. We look to take a second hand up high. And then from here, a lot of times in jujitsu, especially, we're looking to hit a sliding arm drag where we drag our partner here. We're going to do essentially the same thing, but this time we're going to be entering instead of the upper body looking for back exposure, we're going to be entering the legs looking for heel exposure. So we'll start off, in this case, our partner has their right leg forward, we're going to match with our left leg. We're going to be a little bit outside their range, we're going to lower our level, we're going to plant a hand on the floor, and our right hand here, our inside hand, is going to reach to our partner's knee. So the same way that the right hand reaches to our partner's elbow or tricep for the arm drag, we're going to reach here to our partner's knee. We're going to plant a foot, we're going to drop our hip, and then this knee, the job of this knee is going to be to snake around the corner. We're going to give a strong pull, drawing our partner in, and we're going to move our partner here into this position. Best case scenario is what you just saw. Hands go to the floor, and then from here, we have a leg that's a little bit unweighted. When the unweighted leg happens, we can enter into the heel hook. So we'll look at that in just a second. Once again, we match with our partner. We're going to post a hand on the floor. We can step our right leg forward to switch our stance. Hand reaches to our partner's knee. We're going to slide and drag our body through into this position here. Once we're here, very important, our hips leave the floor. So if you're ever doing ankle locks or leg locks from the bottom position and your hips are on the mat, you're going to have a very difficult time of moving your partner and getting the exposure that you want. So as a rule, as soon as we enter the position where our partner's leg is in between our knees, we're going to fire our legs up here into classic ashigarami position. Notice that our heel is on our partner's hip and we're never allowing the foot to turn in this direction where we're vulnerable to toe holds. We turn the toes to the outside. Now we've got our knee, we connect it here to our heel, and we put our right foot, our inside foot here, behind our partner's hamstring. This position prevents our partner from stepping back easily. A lot of times if you have only one leg controlled, your partner has this sort of pivoting ability. So instead we block. Now from here we turn slightly. What we're looking to do is to get our partner's heel up off the mat. Now that we have that, we're going to put the back of our wrist here right against our partner's uh, ankle and we're going to force the roll using a false grip. So that means we're not locking our hands, we're just turning our wrist back here, and we're going to encourage our partner to roll. As they go and roll, we're going to follow. Look how we turn belly down, and we take this inside leg out. We're going to pivot around the corner, landing here in the outside position here. Let's just scoot back a little bit. Once we're here in the outside position, our legs form the figure of four, uh, or a, a kind of an ankle cross position is also good. Now from here we can clasp our hands, close our elbow, and begin the rotation here that's going to finish the heel hook. So we're using this entry, dragging the knee, where we're facing our partner. We'll begin with partner right, our left. We're going to step our leg up, plant our hand, and then we're going to simply slide our body through. The legs fire up, the hips are off the mat. Now we're ready to expose the heel. We're going to use our knees to turn our partner, placing their hands here on the floor. There's the heel exposure that we want. And now, with our wrist in the false grip position, we can start to roll our partner. I'm just going to reorient you a little bit here. We're going to roll. Okay. So, we turn slightly. There's our grip. As we roll, remember our partner has to roll to alleviate some of the pressure on their heel. We take our second leg out and cross in this fashion. Now that we have our legs controlled up here, uh, our partner's hips controlled by our legs in this position, we can clasp our hands, close our elbows, and now we're ready to finish the heel hook. So with this entry, you have a very safe method of sliding into the leg, 
It's low risk because if it doesn't work out, you're just in the guard. And you have a very uh, quick way of exposing the heel, which can be tough for people. You know, you're dealing mm -hmm. with people and they've got their weight on their heels and the feet are anchored to the floor. This way, weight goes on the hands, you got the heel exposed and you're ready to attack. Awesome. Thank you. It's a beautiful technique. Make sure you like this video and make sure you follow this guy. He's unbelievable. His name is Brian Glick. Man, what a pleasure. Thank you, sir. Love it. Thanks, Thanks. man. All right. How was that, okay? That was amazing.